Hello, welcome to the Tales of Middle Earth Scouring the Shire campaign battle report. Today, today we're going to be playing through battles from Scouring the Shire, as it is. Okay, I've just said one of my favourite supplements from release back in the day. Yes. Uh, one thing we should point out is we're not going to play the old rules. We're playing it with the current current rule set. So yeah, which gets a bit tricky. We won't. We'll play it with the participants in it, so there won't be any war bands, but the core yes. rules. Yes, the fainting. As is. Special weapons. Special weapons. Things like that. I don't think we've got any monsters unless a dog can hell. Uh, I would like the dog to hell, being <laughs> that I'm taking control <laughs> of yeah. the good side. And the first scenario is Farmer Maggot's Farm, or Maggot's yeah. Farm. And I'll be the ruffians then, by default. By default. Um, <laughs> Uh, layout of this is 24 by 48. Yeah. Uh, one side of the board is covered in trees and represents the Bree side. Yeah. So we're just coming into to Hobbit and from Bree as the ruffians. And uh, the other side's the outskirts of Farmer Maggot's farm. Uh, 12 inches in from the centre is a scarecrow. And my dogs deploy six inches from the scarecrow. Uh, I don't get to move the dogs in the first turn, and I believe you come in from... I come in from the Bree board edge. Um, my bows, I've got one bow, but I can't see it being that much use, seeing as it's a stormy night, is oh, one yes. of the rules, so six is to hit with shooting attacks. And because of that, dogs cause terror. Uh, and dogs cause terror, which uh, is... Nice. <laughs> nice, yeah. Being that I've only got three dogs and Farmer Maga, who isn't on the board to begin with. Yeah, we've got rules for a maggot as well. Maggot, farmer maggot comes into play on a roll of a five or more after the dogs have been alerted. Because to begin with, I don't get to move the dogs as normal. Whoever gets priority gets to move the dogs. And then if they come within six inches of a ruffian or get shot at by a boat but don't die, it then rever reverts to normal. So, how do you feel this scenario is going to go? Tough. Tough, tough for me. Tough for good. Uh, yeah, I've got. Yeah, as I said, most of the time I'm going to have three dogs that I'm not even going to be not even going to be moving uh, yeah. as I want. So, see, uh, as much as I hope it plays out like that, the fact that they cause terror. Yes, that's the only my only saving grace. And I I've think. got a lot of hedges to jump. Yes. I hope I. Uh, yeah, I think I've got a plan in mind. Good. We'll see whether it <laughs> pans out or not. Well, let's uh, uh, and. I'll be playing for you to roll those so the maggot doesn't get on. Excellent. No, which I imagine will happen. Maggot's just not going to make an appearance. And uh, let's find out, shall we? Yeah. Encouraged by the apparent pact between Lotho and Sharky, and filled by evil intent, the ruffians have begun to enter the Shire in increasing numbers. Aladdin took Thrain and Patriarchal head of the Tooks is unwilling to see his ancestral lands meet the same fate as the rest of the forefathers. And so, in desperation, orders his archers and hastily raised militia to turn them back, whatever the cost. I reckon this is where you want close up. Otherwise, you've just got. Mm -hmm. oh, Did you move it off? No, just as we might know, the trees on this one are difficult to read. They're just lying aside. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not a move. 
What about the dogs? They're sort of there. So one, because they're the old dice. Amazing. Still might have played that. So you've got the dogs still. I've got dog dogs. So does that mean they move properly? They move properly off the Next turn, I can move your maggot boy. Or roll, roll, see if maggot comes on. So, as much as I wanted to sneak, sneak I've off. not really done very well at sneaking, but then I kind of <coughs> did myself out of that by trying to shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think sneaking was right off you, didn't you? There. Of course, this looks like I'm going to be uh, doing well. Well, now my dogs are all going to die. This guy's going to go in. This guy's going to go in. Did I? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll then just jet. Yeah. <laughs> right, I think that's a knock going in. Knock going in. Is there? Courage two. He's awesome. Okay. So that might be any. Is that? Mm. Mm. Is it a dog? 
I'm not charging you. It's about it, okay. I keep on trying to move on from the shooting. I'm going to shoot that dog there. Um, uh, it's still six, isn't it? I was going to say I've yeah, moved. Yeah, so. that one into that one's there. Oh, that would have done it. That would have done it. It wasn't a dark and stormy night. Um, this guy. Yeah. Whips. Inches. No, he's not going to do Oh, that. yeah. Can you remember the whips? Yeah. No, the strength it. one whips. It's a four. For maggot, now that the dogs are alert. Oh, uh, maggot is at the start of the move phase. So, start the move phase? So, do it at the start of your move phase? At the start of my move phase makes sense, doesn't it? I'll let you. Uh... Um. Try and charge again. No, still not. Just for purposes for the uh, younger guys, I guess these dice are the Games Workshop dice, and the symbol is on the one, and not six. Just to confuse you, because I'm so used to six now, you get excited. Yeah. Yeah. This guy in here is going to try. No, oh. they're not very courageous. They're them. They're not. I'm feeling I'm going to get eaten by dogs. Eaten by dogs. Uh, right, first things first. Maggot? No. Nope. Not. Still in bed. Still in bed. He's, well, he reckons he's somewhere else on his farm, but he's a place with his dogs. Right, um, okay. <laughs> My low rolls paid off for once. Right, I'm gonna go on uh, grip. grip. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Last poor grip. He did. Well. And then we go for uh, Old wolf, one and one. Three. Three. I can do this. I can do this. Yeah. Four. Okay. I'll back away. Then. And it's a five. I'm gonna guess. I'm free. You're 
Three, so that's freezing freeze floors. Yeah, that kills him. Yes. We're a yes. dog down and a ruffian down. Well. Well. <laughs> well. Thank you. Alright, then. Okay. Oh. Oh. What was yours? <laughs> Three. No. We'll leave that flag raised. Okay. Um, these guys are going to continue with Ooh. their... Oh, I've their got that in. Yeah, run. Oh, There's no. another one over here as well. Oh no, down the edges. <laughs> oh no. Okay, that's potentially two coming straight off. Um, he's going to go for a coach test to charge. Bang. He loves it. He's in. Gonna throw his whip on the way in. Oh no. Yeah. Throw his whip. Lash his whip. Peter would be the one throwing a whip at the dog. We've already killed a dog. Peter's not gonna be happy on that. Yeah. As in, not Peter the guy, Peter the uh, the relation pet, whatever it is. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. has Pete got a real strong, strong affiliation <laughs> to these dogs? Um, this guy That's is going to charge as well. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, just. And he did his whip. And we go in. Oh. Did his head. Mm. Was it only shooting attacks? It's a shooting attack. Or throwing first. weapons count. Also, a shoot attack. I'd say no because it's meant to seem like being dark, but with this on that close. Okay, close. Are you after that then? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. No. It didn't matter anyway. It didn't matter anyway. Uh, my movement. You want to roll for a maggot? Roll for the old maggot you bought. Oh, he's on. He's on. So, we might as well. On this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> He's only got little legs. Oh. <laughs> that seems so slow on Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. And then we're on to the combats. Let's start over there with bang. Okay. I've got two. two. I've got two. So roll off. One, two, three. Ruffians. Ah, uh, the dog one. Wolf one. Uh, oh, sorry, we were up here a quick point. Yeah, we are. Yeah, fang. Dog on Chris. Six. Another ruffian by the way. Ruffian. And then this last combat. Okay. Three is there. You've only got three left, have you? Mm, yes. Yeah, oh god. I've got to get them all off. I've got to get them all off. Oh yeah, so I'm feeling the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah. One. One. Oh, so your yeah. role for combat? Six. This is not looking good. Can't waste it. Four. We'll kill him. We'll kill him with it. Three against three. Nice. So that is the scenario. That is the scenario. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. As you saw, that was a smashing defeat to evil. It surprised me. That surprised me. I thought I was gonna just just die. <laughs> just but die. Just dogs dying. In stark contrast to that, I just died. died. Yeah, so you got um, to die. I enjoyed it though. It was short. It sweet. Went, went against everything in my nature <laughs> to, <laughs> to shoot at animals. Whipping a dog. Yeah, whipping a I'd dog. I never want to do that. And surprisingly, Farmer Maggot came in, so I was happy. I felt like, yeah. Yeah, he got there. He got there. I don't know what he was doing. Almost. Um, but yeah, maybe that was uh, Karma telling me not to whip dogs. Don't whip dogs. Right, and, and so we went over in the game, we went over the campaign stuff. So yeah, so for you, to recap, you now, because it was a good victory, 
Kev has the um, ability to call upon Father Maggot and his dogs in any one subsequent scenario, excluding the Battle of Bywater. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother next time. No. Just going to play it straight as. And next time, we're doing Beating the Bounds. Until then, so. Players. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Game on and continue to support our wonderful hobby.